We are back with In-Depth tonight and an interesting story this evening about a product a lot of American women buy without knowing much of anything about the origins of it. This story about a booming global trade comes to us tonight from India. It's the work of our nightly news digital correspondent, Maras Giavacampo. For these worshippers, offerings are made by the Strand. The Venkateshwara temple in southern India is one of Hinduism's holiest sites. More than 18 million devotees visit each year, according to temple officials. That's more than the Vatican and Mecca. Subayama has come with her entire family. Lord Venkateshwara is our favorite god. Like so many worshippers, she brought the god a very special offering. Her hair. We feel happy if we shave our heads and very peaceful. All of our problems will vanish. It's part of a ritual called tonsuring, the cutting of hair for religious reasons. Every day, thousands of Hindus sit before the temple barbers and a straight razor to offer their hair and please the god. It is a divine business model for the Venkateshwara temple. Selling hair earns it some $18 million a year, money they say is used to fund charity programs. The hair purchased from the temple is what is brought in here. Benjamin Sherian has built his empire a strand at a time, one he now shares with his son. So there's about 11 tons of hair in this room. Yeah, easily. India exports an estimated 150 tons of hair each year from temples across the country. This, this is very good. Some of it goes to New York City stylist Jay Ferrara, who uses it for popular hair extensions. When this hair comes from India, it's beautiful. Clients pay thousands for the extensions, while the devotees in India hope to be repaid with blessings. While temple hair is considered the best, it is not the most abundant and makes up only about a quarter of the Indian hair trade. To find out where the rest comes from, take a look at our extended report online at nightly.msnbc.com. Brian? And one note here, when we introduce Mara as our digital correspondent, what it means is this, a digital camera, just Mara, no producer, no camera crew traveling the world and the nation, uh, looking for news for both our website, nightly.msnbc.com, right. and Nightly News. That's and, correct. Uh, glad you're back from your travels, for now at least. Thanks. Thanks, Brian. When we come back here this evening, the truth about boys and girls and when they grow up, how much they make for the same work.